hi guys how are you doing in this video tutorial we will uh, look at the move and slide function of godot so let's see we use move and slide function in order to move over character 2d character or 3d character and in order to use move and slide function uh, uh, over script or uh, over player must extend from kinematics body 2d our kinematic body okay and uh, as you can see uh, we are using move and slide function and we are providing over velocity and we also providing over uh, upward direction uh, to indicate over floor uh, so that uh, it determine what is the uh, uh, floor value and it can determine if over player is standing on the floor or not so this vector helping us to understand or uh, helping the movement slide function our kinematic body uh, our godot to determine if the player is standing on the floor or not you can also search uh, about uh, this function in this help okay as you can see move and slide function uh, there are a number of uh, different parameters uh, uh, available to use but we only use uh, uh, this first one and the second one most of the time we use these uh, only these two parameters okay and, uh, uh, and you can also use the uh, uh, other parameters too but uh, they are not uh, uh, this much important uh, right now we will uh, look at them uh, after some time uh, in uh, some other video so uh, the move and slide function is simply used to move our character and uh, you can uh, uh, use some other uh, mechanism to move your character uh, by changing its position uh, via transforms but it is not uh, an appropriate way to move our character so the best way to move uh, our 2d character uh, via move and slide function and it also uh, help us to uh, determine if our player is colliding with some other thing or not like uh, uh, enemy and uh, some objects or something else in our game or some obstacles let's see let's run our game as yes, you can see i am moving my uh, player and it is because i am using move and slide function if i am not using the move and slide function there are still possibilities available uh, for us to move our character by using the transforms but uh, transforms are not the best way to move our character okay as you can see uh, if i open my player see here are the uh, transform and you can uh, change the position okay as you can see we have moved it uh, 40 pixels uh, towards right and you can also move it uh, 40 pixels downward okay but uh, it is not an efficient and best way to move our character so always use move and slide function in order to uh, move your player and also uh, to determine if your player is colliding with some other object in the game or not so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like it please like share and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much you can also ask me uh, uh, your questions in the comment section below.